Hello, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Today on Suncoast FYI, the conductor of the Night Train Express, clean carpets and clean furniture, and the 2016 Faith and Family Night event with the Bradenton Marauders, all next on Suncoast FYI. Thanks for joining us today on Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. We're going to start with a ride on the Night Train Express. Right here in Sarasota, the Night Train Express raises money for special needs kids at the Children's Hospital and Oak Park School. And you can donate to the Oak Park School at this special event taking place next month. And to tell us more about this fundraiser are the president of Night Train Express, Mike Night Train Gazelle and Vice President Sharon Princess Saraski. And welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. So I'm not familiar with what the Night Train Express. I believe this is at your second annual event. Yes. yes, it is. So obviously it went well last year Absolutely. and you're doing it again. Can you tell our viewers what it's about? Um, we are a 501c3 organization. Um, and we're just out in the community and uh, just helping out those in need. Okay, and, and what was the reason that you started this event last year? Um, the, reason, uh, the reason we started this was um, because of my son. He's 22 years old. He has Angelman Syndrome. He's been to uh, All Children's Hospital quite a few times. We've, mm -hmm. we've also done a couple of runs to All Children's Hospital and um, just trying to raise money and kind of give back. They've actually uh, did a lot for us, so we're just trying to give back. That's wonderful, that's wonderful, thank you. And Sharon, can you tell us about what the event is actually going to be? The event is May 1st, it's a scavenger hunt, and we're gonna start it with a pancake breakfast, which will be from eight to 10, which is $10, that's separate. And then the scavenger hunt registration will start at 10.30, and last bike out will be at noon. And each team is going to be teams of four to, four to six minimum. And they're going to pull a list which will have 10 items that they have to scavenge for okay. and 10 pictures that each team will have to take. And each list will be different. And they're going to have five different places out into the country that they have to go and find. Okay. Now, is it just bikes or can you use any type of vehicles? Any vehicles, welcome. Okay, and what is the registration for the scavenger hunt separately from that? The registration is $10 per person. Um, the teams will come up with a name. They'll have to assign a team name. First prize is $400, which is um, partially donated by Whitmer and Linehan. And the last place will be a $100 prize. And if we have tiebreakers, we have a special life-size twister game that will take place. Okay. And what else can um, folks expect during the course of this? I mean, you said they go out separately. So you give them each a list. Yes. Okay, different lists. And the stops are? It's going, it starts at Applebee's on Clark Road. Okay. The stops included are Charlotte's Web, the Big Top Brewery, uh, Herb's Limestone, Solomon's Castle. What am I forgetting? And Open Road. Okay. And these are mostly out, way out east, uh, Arcadia, Ona, in those areas, except for the Big Top, which is here locally. And it will end at Stottlemyers off of Fruitville. And that's where the okay. last okay. bike in is at 6 p.m. Okay. And, and they have to take pictures. So it's a scavenger yes. hunt, and they just have to find whatever it is and then take pictures. Right. Okay. So at the end of the evening, they come back, and then what happens? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what happens is we, you, when all the bikes get there, yeah. um, we have a band. Uh, we have a little party afterwards. We give the money to whoever wins okay. uh, and whoever loses. Mm -hmm. And if there is a tiebreaker, life size twister is going to be crazy. Okay. So um, you'll want to get you'll want to make it to this one. Okay. We'll, also, we'll also be doing 50/50 drawings, and we'll have Chinese auctions. We've had a lot of um, very generous donations throughout the community for. Okay toward the Chinese auction to help raise more money for Oak Park. Wonderful. Now, is there going to be another event taking place this year, or is this year only fundraiser? Uh, we also have a Christmas in June run. Mm -hmm. 
which is at the end of June, which June is June 20, 26th. excuse me? 26th, 26th. June 26th. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, our November uh, big Christmas run. Okay. It's our big toy run. And mm -hmm. uh, we go over Skyway Bridge. We took a couple hundred bikes over Skyway Bridge last time, so we doubled last time from the first. Now, now we're going on the third, so we're going to be Excellent. big. Excellent. Now, where can our viewers go to find out more information about this event and other events? We have a website, nighttrainexpress.com. We also have a Facebook page, which is the nighttrainexpress.com as well. Okay. Those are our two main social media areas. Awesome. And once again, this is taking place May 1st. 1st. Okay. May 1st. Beginning at 8.30? 8. 8, okay. 8 a.m. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both for being here and much success with your event. Thank you for Appreciate having us. It. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Next on Suncoast FYI, we're a month into spring already, but have you done your spring cleaning? If you have, you've probably cleaned out your closets and your cabinets, but what about your carpet and your furniture? The owner of our local Stanley Steamer doesn't want to forget about those, so he'll be joining me when we come back to tell us more. And welcome back to Suncoast FYI. The Bradington Marauders always hold exciting events here on the Suncoast. And coming up next month at McKechnie Field is the 2016th Faith and Family Night. And the Assistant General Manager of the Marauders, Justin Kristich, has everything you need to know about this event. And Justin, welcome to the show. Thank you. And thank you. Thanks can for you, having me. Yes, can you tell us what, what is Faith and Family Night sure. all about? All right, so it's our big promotion that's going to take place, like you said, May 20th at 6.30 p.m. at McKechnie Field as part of our Bring to Marauders game that night. It's just a great way for fans to come out, enjoy a family-friendly environment, uh, get together with their, their fellowships, their churches, and just, just enjoy a night of faith and fellowship at the ballpark. Okay, and who's going to be performing at the game that evening? We actually have a pre- and post-game concert. It's going to be performed by Peter Furler, who is the actually the co-founder and former lead singer for the rock, uh, Christian rock band, the Newsboys. Okay, okay. So what time can people actually get in? What time does the pre-show start? The gates open at 5.30 and the, the show, the pre-show will start rolling a little bit after that and then post-game we'll get the stage set up on the field and about 30 minutes after the game's over we will begin the post-game concert. Okay. And how do the players actually become involved mm -hmm. with, with this program? So a few of our players would actually stay on the field after the game and they'll interact with the fans and give some testimonials actually to any of the fans who want to want to speak to the players about their faith after the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how, um, how can folks go and get tickets and what, what do they get for their tickets and how much are they? And the, the easiest way is to go online, our website, www.bradyntonmarauders.com. Uh, fans can also come to the box office. Uh, Non-game days are open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesdays through Fridays. And people can also call our phone number, 941-747-3031. Um, for groups of 10 or more, we actually have a special where we will throw in a free hat and a free souvenir cup with a fountain soda fill-up. Okay, and, and is there, did you say there's a t-shirt involved in there yes. somewhere? Yes, so that's also part of our free shirt Friday series on May 20th, so okay. the first 750 fans through the gate will receive a free t-shirt that night. Excellent, I like that. Yeah, a lot of I awesome like stuff going on. Okay, now um, I hear there's other great ways for families to actually purchase multi-ticket packages, and what's that all about? So actually, that May 20th game is part of uh, a bigger package that we have called our five-game all-you-can-eat plans. So mm -hmm. uh, we package together three different packages, uh, 15 games total, broken into three packages of five games. Five games each. Uh, they include a ticket to the game and uh, all-you-can-eat wristband gets you free hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, grilled chicken sandwiches or crispy chicken sandwiches and then bottled water and uh, fountain soda, which is a big perk as well. Okay, now can, can they go back multiple times or is that, oh yes, really, it's all you can eat? It's all you can eat, all okay. you can drink, uh, those, those five games of the package, people can buy one, two, or all three of those packages if they want to attend five, 10, or 15 games. Okay, now um, I know, is May 20th going to be the last game? Is that your wrap up 
or do you have other games after No, we're that? actually just getting started. We start our season on April 9th, and then we play all the way through the end of August. Okay, so how many games do you, do you play in total, and who else will be involved in this? What other teams do you have playing? Sure, so we play 70 games total through the summer. We're part of a league called the Florida State League. It's high single A, uh, part of other major league baseball teams that have single A affiliates in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to share about what you do and, and how you help people? Sure. I mean, we our, our biggest games are on Fridays and Saturdays nights, just like the Faith and Family Night. We we are putting you know a lot of effort into these games to, to reach the community, uh, get people out to the ballpark, and give them a fun night out. Mm -hmm. And the kids must just love this. The kids do love. We actually yeah. have a brand new kids zone this year uh, off the third base side of our stadium, so lots of new games and. Gets, get the kids a lot more engaged this okay. season at the ballpark. And what do they actually do when they go out there? The kids? Yeah. Uh, anything from speed pitch. Uh, we have uh, bounce house. We have a lot of different different games, a uh, little wiffle ball game. So there's a lot of okay. different things for the kids okay. to keep busy with at the ballpark that night. That's wonderful. So it is a family event. It is I definitely a family event. All of our games are very family friendly oriented. Very important. Mm -hmm. Great. So can you tell us one more time where our viewers can go to find out all of these details? Sure. All of our details are just listed on www.bradingtonmarauders.com or you can visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Bradington Marauders. Great. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much, Justin. You're welcome. Stay tuned and we'll be right back to Suncoast FYI. That's our show for today, and thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to promote your business or event on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you. So please just call our sales department at 941-361-4239. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.